Hey guys, Wim79 here from Battle Pirates Nexus and welcome to another video. Um, first of all I want to say that uh, it's past midnight here. My wife and kids are asleep so I'm gonna tune the volume a little bit down. I'm not gonna speak too loudly that I don't wake them up. Uh, this is an event video for the moment Civil War. Broken Council is running and I'm gonna do a video about it. Well, first of all, I when the raid started I really had difficulties uh, getting to what I wanted. I wanted 77 million. Uh, for 77 million, well, I, I got everything. I got um, I got the three new prizes, all the tokens, all the charts for the special hulls. Now, it's if you're a veteran player like me, this is a new raid format. It's always difficult, but normally you will always have something in your dock. I got more than 120, 120 ships. Normally you always got something that works. And now, well, I, I had something that worked, but it was really, really expensive. Um, I used my Harlock Aegis with four Zoe Rhinos, and it costs me 60 gold with no crew to do an A set. I used the same fleet, Harlock Aegis and four times Zoe Rhino, to do a level 95 uh, Mega Hull. Mega ship, sorry, and um, that also cost me 60 gold with no gross use. So, for the first 24 hours, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do the raid. Uh, I said, screw it, I'm gonna skip this one. Then, after the first day or so, we, we got there was a 30% bonus from all the points. In my case, it was nothing. Then they gave 3 million points with um, 3 uh, Grease Monkeys crew, uh, a handful of uh, repair tokens, 4 hours, 6 of them. And well, if you haven't logged on for a very long time, you even got five uh, full fleet built, uh, 5 rhin uh, rhinos, so yeah, it's they did an effort, but the 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 damage was tuned down or so they say on the mega ships but I, I didn't know but oh well uh, I could do two things I either said screw it I didn't gonna wasn't gonna quit the game but I could say screw it I'm gonna skip this raid but then I had the problem this is a new raid format uh, it's it's uh, May now, so June, July, August, for sure, for next three months, for sure, this is the target that we are gonna hit. So I needed something. Now, uh, some people were lucky, they were doing certain refits to their tank or whatever, but in my case, I was building an empty hull, so from something else, so yeah. I, I, I didn't want to cancel that, I didn't want to coin it to start something new, so I was screwed. I started to have a look around and well, before I go into that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my shoutouts first. So, nobody, there were no names, no people who asked to do a shoutout, but I'm gonna do a shoutout of, uh, of two people because I'm gonna use or combine the fleet setups that they shared in which in what they used to do this raid now uh, it's past midnight I'm really really tired I kid you not but I want to do this video so I'm gonna record it now go to bed and in the morning I'm gonna edit it I'm gonna do my raid I'm gonna edit the video post it and well, you will see tomorrow. Uh, there is also a new ship, so new fleet setup, and we will go to that in a few. So, shout outs. First of all, I want to do a shout out to my buddy Insector Gadget from 
the KZE Alliance is um, an admin of the Forsaken Council page, TFC. It's a YouTube show. They got two a week, a regular show, and then an open mic, just like uh, the guys from the Battle Crips and Battle Vortex got. So I looked at his setup, and it's a good setup. Uh, Gadget is Dave is a really good player. Uh, he has good skills, tactics. He has a great knowledge about the game. So hands down, he has a good setup. But the problem is, I don't like copying people's fleet. I want to give it a personal touch. So I started looking around, and I came to the second guy that I'm gonna give a shout out, and that is the BP professor. Now, he also did. Um, share this build I looked at it and well I like the Aegis Harlock Aegis that he used with the three rhinos or Zoe rhinos and from Gadget I liked the fact that he used his uh, his Punisher as a countermeasure so thank you. so I tried to combine those elements from those two players into one fleet and that's what I'm gonna use now. I can say I started out with 60 gold for a level 95 and I the best that I had so far but I only had it once was 4 gold with this fleet that I'm gonna show you how to use the build also it was 4 gold. Now normally that happened only once and what happened in then it was a full target um, everything went according to plan the range between my tank and my rhinos was long enough so I had a big stream of missiles with a big retarget and it killed everything that I wanted so I aim for one turret to die with the retargeting so yeah everything uh, ships the same so yeah it was it was just perfect four gold with no crew but I only did it once normally I'm five six eight gold depending on bad driving so yeah we will see in a few but oh well so what are we gonna talk about I coined a refit and I'm not gonna lie here uh, I was pissed I needed a fleet to do the next raids I couldn't build the tank alone by next raid because the tank alone wasn't wasn't good enough I needed the full fleet so either I skipped and said screw it I'm gonna do it all on normal but then I was gonna get behind in the game or I was gonna do a little investment and I'm not gonna lie about that I coin in the game I know the whale coiner sometimes I do some serious coining like I did now but this isn't every month far from that's more like once or twice a year that I want to do something like this so I what I did was I had a Harlock Aegis and four Zoe Rhinos I had a tank a Punisher tank to swap one of those rhinos so what I did was I did a refit as you can see here to the Harlock Aegis um, I swapped one special and five weapons that was 232 gold that wasn't that wasn't that expensive so that was that was doable then next up I refitted my tank now as you can see the pictures from me are from the movie uh, Civil War because it's going next week in the theaters here so yeah chances are Kixai didn't use a lot of time to get up with an original uh, name for the next event so just they just used one from a coming movie so oh well now the pictures that you see this is captain uh, the previous one was captain america now this one is iron man so just saying now the tank i have now two tanks with countermeasures uh, the other day and it's already posted on battle pirate nexus i did a post about an aegis a regular aegis a countermeasure punisher and three citadels 
that fleet is still intact. That tank is still the same. I had another tank and that is this one that I'm refitting here. So for that I needed 685 gold. So the good news is this is the only ship that dies. So if it dies it's 2 hours 45 minutes. That's 6 gold. It's a rate divided by 2. So I only need to spend 3 gold. The moment this dies I retreat, I repair, I go back in. It's as simple as that. So yeah, way, way cheaper than 60 gold. Now, next up, I had my Zoe Rhinos. Um, back in the day, I built them on the left. So left is old, right is the new one. And on the bottom right, you can see how much it cost me. Keep in mind, I needed to do this three times. So that's 400 and 12 gold times 3 that that's 1236 gold so yeah in total to refit this fleet I needed 2153 gold now is that a lot yes that's a lot is that too much will to spend in one month I think that it is but the good news is until September I'm good to go with this fleet. I can tweak it a little bit here and there. I still got a few things that I can retro to make it even better. So now, why couldn't I just not refit the tank and keep these as they were? Well, I got only seven missiles on it and it was a good fleet because with my Harlock and four of these, I could do uh, in the Forsaken missions a military stronghold 85 for instant repair. So I, it was a good fleet and that's something that really pisses me off these days with Kixai. I'm getting tired and a lot of players are of needing to refit good fleets to stay up to date with the game. It's like it's either that or build new ones I know but sometimes you get so so tired that's also for uh, the reason that I picked the that's enough picture of me as Captain America here because I was oh well um, so yeah what I did now was um, the, the difference in the previous fleet that I had and this fleet in general is the total repair time went down and the combat speed also went down what went up that's the power output so I got way more countermeasures on it and I got way more missiles on it uh, with the previous one I had uh, seven blades seven times four that's 28 with one on the thing. I had 29 Gale missiles. On this one, as you can see, I am only of uh, three of these rhinos, but they, they are filled with missiles. So I got 15, I got 45 missiles. So yeah, that's way better. And also, I don't have the, how do you call it? The special that gives the combat speed, but I got the special that gives the, um, the penetrative damage boost. Now, those two are the same the only difference is with the new one that special can be retrofitted so you can boost that number up if you see the damage on the left was 15,000 and for the moment it's 20,000 and it's still going up because I'm only doing the retro R6 for the moment so that number will keep going up so yeah um, it works really great I hope it stays that way because, well, with Kixai, you never know. I created a picture with the fleet setup. This will be posted, I'm not going to say tomorrow, because it's already tomorrow. It's almost almost 1 a.m. here. But later today, I'm going to edit the video, post the video, and then uh, get this picture and the Huggy link out also. Um, on the bottom right corner you can see me with fingers crossed and that is well 
kind of hoping that this fleet will stay useful, but I think that it will so. Used for Legion Assault Forces and Mega Ships, as you can see. Now, in this video, what are we gonna do in this video? Not too much, because as I said, I'm really tired, but oh well. We are gonna hit a level 95 Mega Ship. So, I think that's it. Hey guys, welcome Wim79 here to the second part of the video. As you can see, I'm fully clothed. It's day now, no longer midnight, no longer tired. Wife and kids are away, so I can do the second part of the video. Second part, because last night I was having terrible lag. I was also tired. I rebooted my computer, still lag. I rebooted my router, still lag. So I said, screw it. I went to bed, I saved. Uh, the first part of the video and now we are quickly gonna do uh, the 95 fleet is still the same I just uh, hit something with it and then I came to the conclusion that my microphone was muted so we are gonna repair to gold and do it again i'm already at my rate points this is just to show you what the fleet can do i want to get this video out and about today uh set up shared on battle pirate nexus also and as stated again this fleet is based on the fleets from insector gadget and battle pirates professor so kudos to those guys i took the best parts that I thought were awesome from their fleets and created my own. I'm gonna have a look now. This is a full target. Nothing has been hit. Great. Now I'm always gonna try and take out the ships. Best I had so far on damage was four gold but that was really i i only did that once four gold and then well the rest is between what the hell couldn't control my fleets there for a moment so that's not good let's hope it stays at that one time now Yeah, it was an expensive refit, so I can't, I, I truly can't say, well, oh, this was, this is a cheap rate for me, because, well, if you have to spend more than 2,100 gold to refit a fleet, it's an expensive rate. But the good news is, this fleet will be usable for the June event, July event, August event, so, and also, well, yeah, they are gonna use these targets maybe in a certain at a certain point for a uranium target so it's also good to have a fleet out and in between I can I can build and concentrate other things so for the moment I'm building a second Harlock Aegis I think I need I the the, the tank is okay Punisher tank now is okay Punisher tanks because now I got two I think I'm gonna I'm gonna build my Aegis, my Harlock Aegis now, to have a little bit more, how do you call it, yeah I'm going straight towards it, screw it. Normally I don't get much damage from this. Um, I'm speeding up because I want to get this done before the wife is so back. I know not the best idea but oh well now reach that then I'm gonna zoom in 
gonna wait for that to hit then reach that and the I'm gonna try and take okay that's that okay now I'm gonna run retreat, repair my tank, and then go back in. I should be able to stay up front of the the forsaken heavy cruiser because that's what these are, forsaken, well, screw it, I can do it like this also. That, like that. Now I can wait. Time out. Repair. Come back in from the bottom. I said it before. I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't like this raid because if you have to spend two thousand gold to 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 get a, a fleet that was good already to make it good again, well. That's just stupid. Now, I did it, oh well. Now, retreat. Let's bring the ship down. Repair. It's three gold. Took a few risks, but oh well. I think it will be seven or eight this time, because I rushed, rushed a few things. So, but oh well. Now I don't use a crew on it. You could say, well, if you use um, the grease monkeys, you can do it for half the price. Yes, but I said it also again. I rather use grease monkeys on something that's expensive, like if you have raids where you need to drop twenty or twenty-five gold. To repair something well then it's useful to use grease monkeys but for now no I'm gonna I'm gonna save the ones that I got and also save the ones that uh, the tree that kicks I gave me a few days ago as a compensation because everybody got those three so gonna zoom back in and now we're gonna focus on this point you will see in a few what I mean with that I see I still have my controls yes I do so I'm gonna bring this to the edge and give it a little nip like that So yeah, the tank is the only thing that's, that I try to get damage on, and the rest, well, bad driving here. I wish they would uh, disable the shaking on the screen, because it just, it's, I see no pointing it in, in, I think it's just stupid. Also, it's very annoying that your, your, your screen is shaking when the, 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 the barrage is hitting you. I rather have it that they would have an indicator or some sort at the top. Now we're gonna put the rhinos there. And they are gonna stay there. 
like this. Then we're gonna take the tank and picking them off one by one. That one. Now as you can see, the missiles can't hit me. That's because the four, sorry, the eight Phalanx 4 that I got on this fleet are more than enough. And also, um, the four that are on the Punisher have an extended range with the frontline countermeasure something. Not sure on the name, but... Um, Turn, 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 turn. Now I'm gonna go to here to get this one and try with the retargeting to take the Zoe out, but I fear it's not gonna happen. Oh, yes, it does. <sighs> now, coming back here. Here is the next one. I'm 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 having lag again. It could be because it's I changed a few settings to um, to the program which I use to record all this and it could be that the lag is coming from that because just before this this I was playing and I was having no lag, so... Now, okay, get that one here. Take out... The and that's that, then anything else? More are on the way, so... We're gonna turn this towards here. Here, we're gonna. It's a lot of driving, but I I like to use the island, this island, to take out the majority of the ships. Now, the fact that they are staying there prevents them from gaining up on me. Now they can't gain up on me, but oh well. Almost done. So this, these two, then I'm going to trigger those three, then I'm going to retreat, repair the Punisher one more time, and after that, well, after that I can kill the remaining thing, so. When I first used this fleet, so I coined the refit, you guys know that, you saw it, but when I first used this fleet, I needed 14 gold. 14 to do it so it's it's true what they say practice makes perfect and that I didn't see from any videos because I was planning on on having a look on gadgets video but then well I just started doing it as you can see here and oh well so far it, it works it works out so so yeah the phalanx are really great if you you can see the extended range they got on the damn firing on me the extended range they got on the Aegis the Harlock Aegis that's yeah that that's just crazy now after this I'm gonna retreat like that and then put myself here yeah, but the shaking is really annoying. A lot of people are, are saying it to me and, well, I don't see the... Okay, this is firing, but look, the shaking stops. Why does it have to, f have to shake? Bring an indicator on the top of the screen saying, okay, uh, you get incoming fire, this or that or whatever, but this is just, yeah, annoying. So now we're gonna... I took a volley on my rhino, so it's gonna, I think, four gold, maybe. I'm gonna bring my fleet here. Repair four gold. Three gold, okay, good. 
plus 3. So we are at 6 gold for the moment. Keep in mind no crew. So if you would put steel heads on it or... Um, what else is useful? Steel heads or um, sea serpents. That would help. But yeah, that's my problem. I got, I, for the moment, I got 54. Yes, yeah, 54 crews. You can only have 50, but if Kiksai gives you certain crews, they, they stack on top of that. So, no, it's 50. I think it's 53 or 54. It's 54. And 51 of them are legendary ones now. So, yeah, pretty good. And then three of them are rare salty dogs to rank stuff up because well previous VXP weekend it was a nightmare right oh I'm gonna show something before I go any further so this is just to give you an idea okay the watch the green circles the first green circle are the phalanxes the four phalanxes that are on my punisher now if you Watch now, I can skip between this with the numbers. So this is the difference. I put the extended range on it, and here is also the extended range on it on the Harlock Aegis. But that hull has a, has a built-in range boost for countermeasures. So yeah, it's it's really worth it. I didn't use it either. Uh, I only had a phalanx one on it, but now I'm 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 glad that I did. Careful driving now, that I don't get the scatter guns firing at me. So yeah, what I do now is I just take the the mega ship out. Once that's that, I go around and mop up. Mop up my um, turrets. it don't get it they hit me it's just a little bit now normally that's damage that you don't get so yeah I'm gonna go towards here here then line it up a wee bit like this the damage that I took here through be told the majority is from the the scatter gun from the mega ship so Oh well, not gonna redo the video. It's maybe one gold or so that I should have gotten less, so not gonna worry about it. Now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna try now and use retargeting to take out two turrets. I did say try, okay? So we're aiming for this one. And once that's dead. No, it spreads. Mm -hmm, almost lucky. Um, so yeah, retargeting can take out 
a second turret so that's pretty it's pretty good right I'm driving on land here as you can see Kixai has still a few bugs in the targets but keep in mind it's still the first cycle of this raid so if this ship dies it's three gold so that's the only thing that you need to repair here that's that's three gold I got a turret there also. Crap. Seems I forgot one. Oh well. Now I don't think that the retargeting can take this one out, but no, a little bit, but not enough. Now. Stop. Go forward. One more turret and I'm done. So yeah, that's how I've been doing the raid since my refit, so I'm, I'm well, kind of hoping that this fleet will remain useful, and it will be, I'm sure of that, but I'm still, I'm, I'm doing a refit on, I think it's, I'm not sure what the name is, of the special that gives on the retro, yeah, I'm doing a retrofit on, on a special that gives concussive and missile boost damage, so that's only at R5 so once that reaches R15 the damage is going really up with those 45 missiles that I got here now let's look at the damage damage repair 2 gold so that 3 gold 3 gold that's 6 7 that's 8 gold not bad right now for this you can do well not instant repair so oh well I also like the new badge. I'm gonna put this on repair first. So yeah, my, my, my raid is done. I, I picked every price, took all the tokens. This is bonus points. I'm gonna little boards. I needed 77 million, so yeah, with the target that I just did. I'm 969 global. Sector I'm, I'm number two in the sector. This one was just watching me. <laughs> now so yeah it's it's a useful fleet. I I like it and I should have built my Zoe Rhinos like this back in the day. Fill them up with missiles and use the hulls that boost countermeasures for the countermeasure hulls. Don't put gales or, or hailstorms or phalanxes. Don't put that on your rhinos. Put that on hulls that are, are having a built-in boost. That's way, way better. As you can see here, because I only got 8 phalanx 4s, so yeah. So I'm going to repair this on normal. Now I'm going to force save. Oh, seems my stuff is full. So now I'm going to drop over to the slides. So yeah, this was uh, Civil War. Uh, Broken Council. It's the first of a new raid format. I hate it, I still hate it. I, I got a fleet that can do it now and, and people are saying this to me in comes. How can you still hate it? You coined the fleet that can do it, yes, but that doesn't mean that I still don't hate the format. It's too hard. 
Every low to mid level player now is screwed. Also the fact that they took co-op out. I, well, I know one thing. You're not gonna see a level uh, 40 or 50 with the new ship, with the Apollo or with the new missiles. That's for a fact. So that's not everybody is gonna get that. And also, well, yeah, a lot of a lot of sniping is going on. I was told so. A lot of people uh, waiting with subs and uh, Cobra scatter guns. So until you jump out of out of a target, then they jump in and kill everything for free. So yeah, they they don't get that many points, but very important, they do get the 1.8 million uh, 850,000 um, uh, bonus, the 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 target bonus. So yeah. Well guys, this was Wim79, uh, thank you for watching, sorry, um, well what can I say, sorry about this being a two part video, sorry for the lag here and there, I'm gonna see, I can fix that by the next video that I do, still not sure what that will be, but oh well, guys, thanks you for watching and see you later. Oh, last final thing. Uh, the setup will be posted on Battle Pirate Nexus very shortly when this video comes out, so stay tuned, okay?